High-end smash and grab robberies are plaguing retailers across the country and here in Florida, where a high-end handbag retailer in Palm Beach lost $1.5 million in merchandise in December alone. Mike Vasilinda tells us state lawmakers may soon require online merchants to know more about who is selling on their platforms. The Florida Retail Federation says organized retail theft is skyrocketing in Florida. 69% increase across the board, and it's not just big box retail, it's, it's all retail. Uh, and these are organized entities, this is not shoplifting. Senate Bill 944 would require eBay and other middlemen between remote sellers and buyers to verify identity and contact information for anyone who sells more than 20000 a year on a platform. Registration of the marketplace online will allow us to detect stolen merchandise much quicker. Walgreens and Home Depot voice support. eBay asked lawmakers to wait for a federal solution. Obviously prefer that federal bill to pass. But a Senate committee decided the state couldn't wait for something that might not happen at all. To SB 944 reported favorably. Florida's leading the way. We're saying we're not going to tolerate that. We're going to interrupt that sales process. Think of this online registry like a traditional pawn shop that collects information about who is selling what and often recovers stolen property. The Florida Retail Federation believes the registry will get results. This is about individuals that are selling uh, high volume, high volume goods that are still in the box, brand new. Uh, if you get two blenders for your, your wedding gift and you go to sell them online, that certainly makes sense. If you get 25 in a year, that's a little suspicious. So we'd like to be able to track those individuals. Online facilitators who don't follow the law could face fines of up to $10,000. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, the local station. The law is set to take effect in July, but eBay says they'd like more time if it passes.